Today's big announcement, Prime Minister Scott Morrison set to unveil his new look cabinet as he moves to put his own stamp on the government after last week's election win. Three ministry positions have opened up after Christopher Pine, Nigel Scullion and Kelly O'Dwyer retired at the election. Scott Morrison isn't expected to make any major changes to his front bench. It's anticipated Matthias Cormann will stay in the finance portfolio, but Environment Minister Melissa Price and Communications Minister Mitch Fifield are expected to be dropped from Cabinet. These are never easy decisions for Prime Ministers in terms of crafting the best Cabinet for the future. Uh, I know that Scott Morrison has been taking his time this last week to think about the structure and the personalities and the people best placed to take the country forward. It's a serious responsibility for all of us sitting around the Cabinet table. Uh, of course, uh, I feel for any colleague who uh, may miss out in such a process, but the PM has to do what is right uh, for the government and for the nation in this, and I'm confident that's what he will do today. Meanwhile, over on the Labor side, they're still trying to work out their leadership team. Frontbencher Claire O'Neill has ruled out a tilt at deputy leader. She's cleared the way for fellow Victorian Richard Miles. Anthony Albanese is set to take the Labor leadership uncontested, with nominations to close tomorrow morning. But it's the deputy position that's been less clear-cut, with Richard Miles and Claire O'Neill both from the Victorian Labor right faction considering a run at the job. Today, Claire O'Neill announced she won't put her hand up after a series of honest and respectful conversations with her colleagues. I think the, the view that I've uh, reached from colleagues is that I'd be probably OK at the kind of front-facing um, aspect of the deputy leadership role, but that there's a lot to being deputy leader of the Labor Party that's actually internal about bringing the party together behind the leader. And I think Richard Miles has got the skills and the qualities and the experience at this stage to be able to do that job really well. So you're not running? I'm not going to run. The Labor caucus is expected to meet on Wednesday to finalise the party's leadership.